Ladies and gentlemen, look what I received in the mail. Da, 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 da. The pattern heat. Now usually the word heat and I don't get along, but this is a blow dryer and diffuser. A curl conscious heat collection. Let's open it again. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I already opened it, so I kind of put it back in the box for you. So let's do this. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Bianca Renee. You're watching Bianca Renee today. And today I'm going to do a first impression of the Tracy Ellis Pattern Beauty Blow Dryer. How gorgeous is this diffuser? So first of all, this whole little like PR package we got going on. Look at this. This is, this is classy. This is nice. Look at this! Isn't this gorgeous? So not only do we have their new blow dryer, they also have a shine spray and a heat protectant. So we're gonna try it all today. And I kind of like how they launched all that together because this is exactly when you want to use those things. Let's take out the main attraction. This is why we're all here. We'll get to the products. Don't you worry. Now before we begin, do I need another blow dryer? Absolutely not. But when I saw this, did I immediately want it? Yes. Yes, I did. So I just think it's smart in general. If you're going to create something, make it come in a cool color. We're tired of white. We're tired of black. We all have something, you know, normal. I think that's why I even like love the Dyson so much because there's so many pretty colors. Like I already have a fuchsia one and now I want the red one just because of the color. I think it correlates perfectly with their entire brand. Okay, so right on the box it says, a whole new world of curl conscious heat. And then it says, oh, is that French? Moving on. The blow dryer, professional hair dryer for curly, coily, and tight textured hair. And it comes with a concentrator nozzle. No, let's just open it. Let's, let's just get to it. Here she is, Miss America. Wow. This is so pretty. Look at that. Look at the detail. Look, it says pattern right on the grill. That's nice. Let's get to the attachments. So it comes with not one, not two, not three, but four different attachments. So this is the normal concentrator nozzle, the one that I never use. It's supposed to create a focused wide airflow for blowouts. Cute. Then it also comes with a wide tooth comb. This is a very popular type of attachment to kind of raise the roots, give you some volume. It's an additional cost on the Dyson. It does come with the Curlsmith blow dryer, but this one looks very different. Like it has very long teeth to really get in there and really raise the roots. So I'm actually very excited for this one. This one says it's supposed to help detangle and lift curls to their highest potential. I believe that. This one is very unique. I haven't really seen one look like this. This is the brush. Brush helps elongate coils to their fullest potential. Even though I never straighten my hair, I kind of want to do a blowout just to use this nozzle. I'll probably use this next time I do a protective style and I want to just kind of like stretch my curls before I put them in braids or something. I'll definitely be revisiting this brush nozzle. And then your classic, the diffuser. So let's see how they all look together. Not a magnet like the Dyson, just a little pop click. And then it has these two little buttons here to remove it. Can it be done with one hand? Mm, not really, it's kind of a two hand situation. But it does have a cool shot button right there. It has three heat settings and two fan speeds. And then on the back, this is their ion switch. The ion on and off switch activates ions to smooth the cuticle or deactivates to add volume. Hmm, interesting. Here it has a removable filter, so you can clean there if need be. It says the cool shot button is a lock and hold shot, produces a burst of cold air to set any style. So I don't think you have to hold it down, you just push it, so that's great. Let's check how long the cord is. 
Okay, we get some distance. Pretty good. Okay, last thing I want to read. It says, explore your pattern. Experience the freedom of versatility with Pattern Blow Dryer, a high-performing dryer designed and engineered for curlies, coils, and tight textures, equipped with a long-lasting AC motor that delivers precision blowouts and reduced dry time. I will be timing this today. Uh, a ceramic coated grill to help minimize heat and an ion generator that smooths the cuticles leaving hair feeling healthier. Let me get to the real questions that I know we all have. How much do all these things cost? Let's just head on over to the patternbeauty.com website. Okay, so the pattern blow dryer is $189. That's actually not bad. Mmm, just as I thought. The Curlsmith Defrision blow dryer is also $189. Oh, they about to fight. They coming for you. Interesting. Not even $190. They said, let's match it. Let's be $189. Anybody trying to match Dyson though? What's it Dyson? $400 for the little kit with all the attachment? $429. It's crazy that I paid that. I do love my Dyson, but I'm still mad at the price. Okay, let's get to this heat protectant. The heat protectant is four fluid ounces and it's $20. This is supposed to protect and guard our curls and coils from the often irreversible effects of heat damage. Very, very strong claim. This lightweight spray safeguards strands with the pattern protecting power of creme bay, Abyssinian seed oil, sunflower oil, and jojoba oil. There we go. It keeps getting stuck. Oh, my pump's not working. <laughs> Once it goes down, it's getting stuck. Not in love with the smell. The scent is, is that like the gel? It kind of smells like the gel. I feel like it has like an old scent, like an old perfume. Not like a like it's going bad, but like your grandma's perfume. I don't know how much heat protectant I'm putting on at this point. Okay, we're protected. I don't always remember to use a heat protectant when I diffuse, but I'm trying to be better and do that. Definitely do it if you're doing a blowout. Um, I think it's a good idea if you are diffusing. So let's go ahead and put on our diffuser. Make sure the little arrows line up. And let's begin! Now, my hair is already drying. It's creating a cast. It's been a long day. I keep having to start and stop. So, and me talking in this video. So maybe I'll do this again, going from extremely wet to dry, but let's just time it just for fun, even though it's not going to be exactly the same. Start the clock. Here we go. Low heat. It has been eight minutes and 44 seconds. My curls are looking really good. We are just about dry. Let's do a little more. I think we're good now. Did a great job. Quick intermission, I'm back to use the diffuser once again, but I wanted to really time it and see how it would do going from completely wet to dry. I wanted to see how long that would take. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the pattern styling cream and a little bit of the stronghold gel. I'm gonna finish my video, okay? See, this is why my hair dried. First time I tried to do this blow dryer review. All right, now I'm putting in some gel. Whoa, he's getting cool like Dada. Looks cool? Like Dada. Cool like Dada? Well, cool like Mama. <laughs> this where you want to be? Okay, now it's time to diffuse. And now, time for fruits. Good job. Whoa. You like it? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Oh! Gotta time it. A time? Gotta time it. That's the whole point of me doing this. All right, ready? Zero on the clock. Wet to dry. Go!
<laughs> All right, time. I want to stop around the 10 minute mark because that's kind of where my Dyson and Curlsmith blow dryer ended up when it was like totally dry, but still a little damp. I was doing majority high heat, not exactly dry yet. So let me keep going. Whew! Just that extra one minute, 15 seconds, really went a long way. Wow, these products are also very good. I forget how much I like these. So for an additional 30 seconds to a minute more than when I used my Dyson for $200 less, I got 60 seconds to spare. Now back to the video. Okay, so before I play with one of the attachments, I really like the fan speeds and the heat setting. I feel like cool. Okay, let's do one fan speed. That's like a solid good speed. So I think sometimes like the first option of a fan speed is just a little too weak. I think it's a solid first setting and a perfect strong setting. It's not too strong where it's blowing your curls around and it's also not too soft where you don't feel like anything. So I think those are great fan speeds. When it comes to the heat, I also love the levels. Even on the highest heat setting, I could see that working if you were trying to kind of like straighten or blow out your hair. But when it comes to diffusing your curls, I would start off with the second heat setting when your hair is really wet and then as it's getting more dry and more damp, you can even go down to the first and I think that'd be a perfect little combo. Only use the high heat if you're like in a rush or you're trying to blow it out, but even at the highest heat, I don't think it's too harsh. So loving it. I kept the ion on because it's supposed to help with frizz. Even though I'm not trying to blow out my hair, I don't want frizz and I think it did a really good job. Like very minimal frizz that could be also the stronghold gel doing its thing um and then the cool shot i like that you didn't have to hold it down you just push it once and it was a nice cool breeze to set your curl so i'm happy with it let's try the nozzle so this goes on like this but i think one of their selling points is you can flip it either way you want so sometimes the blow dryer will only allow you to do what they want you to do, you could just switch it and click it how you want it. All right, here we are before. Let's get some volume. I think I'm gonna keep the ion on. Let's do a medium fan speed and medium heat. want to just kind of hit your roots first because that is the part of your hair that takes the longest to dry you could just kind of use this attachment to dry the roots and then go back with your diffuser but it did give me some volume yes 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 now for the final product the pattern shine spray this is 4.75 fluid ounces so it's a little bit more 0.75 more that's 0.75 wow Maybe it's a skinnier bottle, <laughs> an illusion, uh, than the heat protectant. This is supposed to finish your styles with our ultra lightweight shine spray to leave curls luminous and radiant, formulated with castor oil and plumera flower extract, spritz to enhance luster while keeping soft curls. Non-greasy sheen protects against humidity as it provides your crown with a nourishing glow. I guess I'm smelling the castor oil with like a light flower scent. So I like the description. Let's just smooth this in. Wow. They do look shinier, don't they? I like it. I would probably grab for this shine spray. I don't know if I'd grab it over my Curlsmith just because I kind of double my Curlsmith oil as like a perfume. I'm not in love with the scent, but it doesn't exactly bug me either. Not. Uh, I don't know where my pattern tortoise kick is, but I have the OG one. Let's just let's just get crazy with it since we got the hold to do so. I love how long the teeth are of this pick. So beautiful. This is really good volume for day one hair. We're not even talking about the products, but the pattern stronghold gel is really good. You can tell by the fact that mine's like halfway empty and it says a lot for me to actually run out of a product because I have so many. So 
I'm very happy. Concluding thoughts on the pattern blow dryer. Aesthetically, it's beautiful. It's right on brand with their color scheme. I like the heat settings. I like the fan speeds. I like the little details on here. It did a really good job at drying my hair. The price point is actually pretty competitive when you think about the Curl Smith Diffusion, the Ion Supercharge, the Dyson, and the Shark. I think are like the top contenders. It's right on par with the Curl Smith one, and it's cheaper than the Ion, the Shark, and the Dyson. I feel like the other blow dryers that I have kind of like stress their ion technology where this one you kind of have to turn it on. I don't know why I would want it off. It says for bigger hair, but I probably would just keep that on. Um, I guess the only con, you do have to push the button to take it on and off. It's not the biggest of deal. I think I just like the magnet attachment so you could just be you know, one-handed, I'm always about accessibility. I did also notice that when I plugged it in, it kind of went like, I could feel a rumble, like I could feel the motor. So it kind of was like a mm, in my hand. I didn't really realize it until I went to go grab my other ones. And it's not the most comfortable hold. Uh, it's still like, this is me nitpicking, it's not a huge, super big deal. But I do think it's a little bit more comfortable with the wider grip on my Dyson, and like the Curlsmith one is like curved, so it kind of like fits in your hand nicely. I think it's time for me to do a full on blow dryer battle. Like I wanna compare all the specs of all of my blow dryers. I wanna be able to compare the voltage. I wanna compare the actual heat settings, like the degrees that it reaches, the pricing, um, the shape, the weight of it, I think it's time to do an official showdown. So leave me a comment down below if you want me to compare all of the top blow dryers. I don't have the Shark. I feel like I need to include that one for us curly girls. Let me know if I can borrow someone because I don't want to buy it. <laughs> but I think that video has to come soon. Let me know if you're interested. Back to this one. It's got some weight to it. It's not the lightest. I think it's like all in the handle. So I feel like after a while this might feel a little heavy. But when it comes to your curls, it gets the job done. But I do like that you can switch the nozzles around and I love that it includes so many attachments. So I'm not really planning to do any protective styles anytime soon, but when I do, we'll revisit this again using the cool other stretching attachments. So let me know what you guys think. Are you interested? Are you gonna get one? Did you already buy one? Do you like how it looks? How do you feel about the price point? I will link the shine spray, the heat protectant, and the blow dryer in my description box down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.